Stu, at 6 tonight, a Greenville artist truly inspiring a community. He's CPR certified, a first aid instructor, mm -hmm. and works with the Bob Jones Help Network. But once you get to know Chris Hartwick, you'll realize that even the fact that he lives alone is an amazing feat. Mm. WIFF News 4's Allie Miles has his story. Painting, it's like the more I do it, the more I want to do it. It's a skill that requires patience, time, coordination, and a whole lot of talent. Chris Hartwick has all of that. What he doesn't have are fully developed muscles in his arms and chest. This is a piece I've been slowly working on here. Um, it's a watercolor. Here's the background. Like, I love art. Um, you know, my main career is graphic design, but I love to paint. Hartwick has arthrogryposis multiplex congenita. It's complicated to explain because it affects everyone differently. For Hartwick, he can't use his hands at all, run or kneel. But he can do just about everything else using his mouth. Well, because some people kind of go like, oh, poor guy, you know, he's handicapped, he's working. I'm like, no. <laughs> it's like, I'm good, you know, I'm happy. One of the things that make him the happiest? His artwork, very detailed paintings done with tiny brushes, all held by his teeth. Hartwick has gained notoriety within the Association of Mouth and Foot Painting Artists, but he's also been published in multiple books just for the quality of his work, nothing to do with his disability. I am physically challenged, and that's okay. And, you know, I'm doing my artwork, and it's selling. And, you know, and it's not just because, you know, I'm physically challenged. It's just that I'm creating artwork that's good and people want. Allie Miles, WIFF News 4 in Greenville. Now, if you'd like to check out Hardwick's work locally, check out the Artist Guild Gallery of Greenville downtown on North Main Street.